Hello. Welcome to the Connect 007 experience. Here we come to the podcast where human connection is everything. If you're trying to connect better with those around you, you're in the right spot. So please sit back, relax, open your mind, and enjoy the experience. Greetings, everybody. I am the host of this amazing podcast. My name is Thaddeus Sims, and I would like to welcome you to the podcast if you are new. This is going to be our 58th episode titled How to Handle Greatness. But before we really go into the podcast, I would like to wish you all a grand rising, a fantastic day, or a fantastic evening. Whichever time you're listening to this, I hope you're having a fantastic time and I hope your day has been going well. And if not, just relax because it's going to go well right now. So I have an announcement. Now, if you have not listened to the last episode, please go back in there. There was a gift from this amazing company uh, by the name of Bio.fm. And if you are an entrepreneur, a podcaster, an artist, or anyone else who makes a lot of content, there is an amazing gift for you. So totally check that out. But the announcement right here is something that I have been working on for weeks now, guys. So here it is. So I finally created like a membership service for uh, those who listen to the podcast. And I was just thinking about it and I just feel like it's really an awesome way just for everyone to be a part of something bigger. All of you who listen to the podcast. So I just feel like, yeah, it's just an awesome way for you all to feel like you're a part of something bigger. You'll also get out, get to help a lot of other listeners out. And also it helps support the podcast tremendously. So it is like a subscription service, but nothing like crazy. It starts from $3.00 and up to $10. So there's five different uh, packages that you can choose from. So of course, though, this is something you just, oh, let me just pay you or whatever. Yes, it does support the podcast, but there are cool perks. So some of the perks that you'll get when you join the membership is one of them being 15% off the entire store and free shipping. So all of the cool t-shirts that I've been making, if you've been wanting one and you wanting a little bit of a discount, hop on that. Another perk is just um, you all will be able to suggest like a new episode that I can cover that relates to connecting with people and I can make an episode about it. So if there's something I have not talked about and you would like for me to, by all means, join on the membership and I can do that. Another is just uh, another perk is like 15 minutes. You can just interview me or ask questions and we can do it on Zoom. And I can just release the episode on either YouTube or my personal website. And I wanted to do this because I know there are people who don't have that much access to me and they are that they are not that close. So I figured this would be really awesome for you all who are in far places. Another perk is that you'll be able to suggest a fun fact and I can add that to an upcoming episode. Um, another idea that I had was for you all to just suggest a random piece of advice that would just be beneficial to everybody else who listens to the podcast. I know I give some things, but it'll be cool for like other listeners who obviously have something that I may not have experienced that can share with other people. So it would be really awesome. And I can add that to an upcoming episode. So again, there's just five packages that you can choose from. Again, the price range is literally from like $3 to $10. So that would be awesome if you guys would love to just hop on that. Again, it'll help the podcast, but also my vision with it is it allows for different types of energy to just come in and just impact the podcast. And it's just something that isn't just coming from me, but for you, the listeners, you may have amazing advice that can help someone on a podcast. Again, I am good at connecting with people, but you may be really good in a different area. And if there's a listener who's particularly in that area and they hear that advice, that could help them. Also, too, I would love to mention your names 
for those who give either the fun, well, for both the fun fact and the piece of advice. So that'd be awesome as well. So that's just something that's different. You can check that out on my website. I'll leave the link below specifically to the membership thing and you can check out just the tiers there. And again, it's just a small subscription price, guys. So it'll, again, it'll help the podcast. And I'm just super excited to see what all will come about it. So totally, totally check that out. And that's it for the announcement. So for the fun fact, this one was pretty, I don't know. I just, I just left a movie when I, well, early this week. So it's pretty interesting. But the fun fact is movie trailers were originally shown after the movie, which is why they were called trailers. The problem with the trailers showing after the film was that the audience wouldn't stay around to watch them, making the trailers rather ineffective. And then that made me think Marvel is kind of like the old school comics. I don't know. I'm probably going to sound super bad, but you know how when it comes to the Marvel movies, we always stop or we, we stay still and wait for, you know, the credits to end and then they play like a trailer or whatever for the next movie. So it's just kind of like, wow, can you imagine that's what people did before they waited or they did it? Obviously, they did it. It was ineffective. They just said, but we're kind of doing that now with the Marvel movies. And if you watch a lot of Marvel movies, a part of you, after you see a movie, a part of you thinks, should I stop? Are they going to play something else, a little extra? It's kind of funny how you get programmed that way, right? So that is the fun fact. Now, diving in to this podcast, pretty much like I said, it is how to handle greatness. And I would like to give a special shout out to a very, very good friend of mine by the name of Brandon. And I've given him a shout out before, but we recently went out and we went out for a walk. We were just talking about life, um, growing, expansion, things like that. And this was, I didn't realize, but this was like a four hour walk, right? And um, four hour walk and talk. And we just had an amazing conversation. And this guy literally is growing and evolving so fast like in front of my eyes it's just amazing and we got on the topic of greatness and i would like to share a snippet of what we spoke on with this so first of all what is greatness and i feel like everyone can describe that in their own words in so many different ways but just for example say i'd like to describe greatness as when you see a person You see a person who has been developing and growing themselves to such a degree that when they speak or they're on stage or they're talking, you're just like, wow. Like a part of you is just like, man, they're so put together. They're so this, they're so that. And it's just like, it's just a wow factor. Like you just think, man, what do I have to do to like get in the same room as that person? I would love to pick their brain or see what they did and what they overcame and this, that, and the other. It, it's that they have this amazing glow to them, right? And this isn't just some people like you just see on TV, but it could be those people who are around you, those people who just have this greatness. Like when you get around them, they charge you up. It's just like their energy is so like infectious. They just speak and it's just on a whole new wavelength. Like to describe this greatness is like I was telling, um, talking with my friend Brandon, it's like you you enter a whole new world of just experiences and conversations like you could speak with this person and time outside of the conversation just doesn't exist it's like the world doesn't exist you're sharing you're learning different things you're growing it's just so much like happening it's just like ah and i was telling him i can't stand when those moments end and it's just like ah man i wish you know we could be around that often and greatness really is just Those people who are actively growing, learning, becoming, um, going through whatever things that they need to go through for them to uh, be with whoever they need to be, listening and following their purpose and whatnot, right? So that's just my example of greatness. There is obviously so much more that I can say, but you get the gist, right? So examples with that. Pretty much gave you that. So I want to talk about the first thing is 
what greatness reveals about you. Meaning when you are around those people who just radiate that greatness, that amazing energy, that, oh my gosh, it reveals it reveals things. And it's two things that I've come to discover. And this was great because talking with my friend Brandon, he revealed to me the other end of things that I really just never paid attention to. So it was really good of what we, what we talked about. So what he introduced into my world was that when it comes to greatness, he was saying in his life for a bit, he was met with, you know, envy and it would start off as love, but then it would go off as like envy. And it was just like, damn, this is interesting. And we had a very good talk about this. And as he was sharing that with me, I I recently posted on Facebook a status about supporting other people who have businesses. And super long story short, it was all relating to envy, jealousy, blah, blah, blah. And I just kind of, you know, it was like, wow, this is very shocking that I think it was over 50 comments and people were saying that pretty much the exact same thing. And I was just like, oh my gosh, wow. So tying this back into just the greatness, what it reveals to you is the two things. The first thing we're going to go is then it will, the, the first thing is negative effects, right? The second thing is positive growth and expansion. So we're going to start off with the negative, you know, let's get that out the way. So what it will reveal in some people is envy. They'll envy that person, right? Another thing that it'll reveal is you, you, (laughs) I gotta say this slow. That person may think that the other person thinks that they are better than everyone else, right? So let's just say, you know, Tom here. Tom may see, oh my gosh, this guy is really great, but Tom may just get, oh nah, he just think he better than nobody. I don't really like him, you know, or this, that, and the other. Another thing is that you'll compare yourself, when you are met with greatness or you just don't like the person for multiple reasons. And what it is, is that these are just areas that you need a mindset change in, a huge mindset change. And what it will help you with is one of the things that you want to do is you want to change your environment. So that is and that is one area you want to do when it comes to that negative effect that you will be met with once you see greatness. What will help is, again, changing your environment, what you choose to soak in. So that's TV, radio, news, etc. And you want to have positive association with people who are doing great things. And self-help really is good as well. Self-help, I mean, books. I always say that books, meditation, making right decisions, drinking more water, changing the foods that you eat, too. A lot of people don't think this. But your food affects like a lot of stuff. Change some foods up. But in the gist, though, with this, because you can already see I'm kind of like weird when it comes to the negatives. I don't really pay attention to them. But I have witnessed it when I when it was introduced to me. I have seen it that some people will envy that person or they just think that that person just thinks that they're better. And it's just what it reveals is like, okay, when you have that mindset, it just reveals a lot of things about you. It it exposes you to, okay, another person will see, wow, like, all right, this person was in a negative environment or this person just isn't used to or not have not been taught this. He hasn't been introduced to a person that says, hey, dude, no, you're looking at that wrong. You need to read this book, blah, blah, blah. So in a gist, if you have the negative effects when you are met with greatness, all these things will help environment, whatnot, positive association, all that good stuff, right? So then we go to the positive growth and expansion. I shouldn't mess up too much on this because the negative part was hard for me. (laughs) But the positive growth and expansion when met with greatness. So when when you're being around them, it ignites you to do more. And that is exactly what I experienced after talking with my friend Brandon. Like after I was like, yo, this guy's been on my mind a lot lately. Just that conversation that we had. And it just it, it sparked me to do more. Right. So that's one thing. Another thing is that they challenge you when you're around those people who are full of greatness. They challenge you and they challenge you in very cool ways. Not in a way that's rude, not in a way that puts a nasty taste in your mouth but something different. So an example that I 
gave to Brandon was an example when I was with someone and the conversation that we had was he was saying, okay, let's, he was like, who is your favorite person? He was saying, now let's be honest. A lot of us don't want to say we have a favorite person, but let's just be honest. We do. I'm like, okay, well, I can, at the time I was like, okay, we'll go with my little bro. I, I love my little bro. He's hilarious. He's awesome and whatnot. And He's super cool. And he was saying, okay, what are the cool things that he brings out of you? I was like, oh, I could talk to him about everything. Um, he also like challenges me as well. He's, you know, we just talk. It's, it's just a lot of good things. And he says, okay, now what would happen if he was to pass away or transition? And it was just like, whoa, okay, that was different. But I knew that the person was coming from a place of love. And it was what the, the questions that he asked me was leading to something else. So I was curious. I'm like, okay, this is, he's going to do something here. So I, I answered the question honestly. And I was saying, okay, if he passed away, I, I don't really, I don't really know. I'd be distraught. He was saying, okay, if he was to pass away, would you be able to do the things that he ignited in you. So challenging yourself. All the things that I said that he, you know, does for me, would I be able to do that for myself? And I was just like, yes, that would take time. But yes, he was like, okay, why don't you do that now to the degree that he does it for you? Because you are limiting yourself and basically you are attached to your little brother. His whole thing was that, you know, detach from the people around you because it, I'm trying to, it's, it's better for him to, to describe it. But basically the gist of it was to detach from those people around you. So you don't um, put those people that you love in positions that they may not can upheld all of the time. If you're able to build yourself up, do that. Don't rely on that other person or don't be attached to that other person to do that for you when you can do it to yourself. There we go. It takes the strain off of the relationship. And so when he said that, that changed a lot of things for me. I was like, wow, I never, I never thought about it that way. I never, I, wow, it changed, it changed a lot really for me. And I was just like, wow, okay. And just the conversations that we had, his energy was just very like loving. It was very kind. It was just very great. And I knew, okay, you're asking me this for a reason. And it's cool when you're met with that greatness because there's so many people who have so many different walks of life that they can share things with you that you may have never experienced, you know, in your own world, right? So that's just an example of challenge. That was a challenge for me because I was like, whoa, you just ask what I do with my brother, like past that's that's whoa right there you got my attention what do you mean where are we going with this right so that was good also they help you grow and they say things that confirm amazing messages and qualities about yourself so think about it guys have you ever prayed or meditated or seen something and it just felt like okay this is a sign or this is a message i need to get or for an example i'm just walking through my life I will get in meditation and my source will tell me, hey, keep going. You're going to, if you keep going, this is going to happen. You're going to feel good, right? And I will go somewhere and a random friend will text me and like, hey, let's hang out. And I'm like, eh, and my intuition is like, just do it. And I'm like, okay. So I would do it and then we'd have a, we'd have a good time. And then later on down the evening, we just sit down and talk. And then they may say something like, you know, dude. I see a lot of stuff that you do. You should definitely like just keep going and just know like things are just going to work out. And it's just random that they say that, but it was just like, wow, that was confirmation. Okay, I really do need to do it. And I have this conversation with friends a lot where when we get it from our source, we get it internally, we pray, we meditate, whatnot, and we get the messages from the source. It's good, but it's something about it feeling greater when you hear it from someone else outside of you, it just it does something for you, right? And that's just one of those things when you're met with greatness. People will just we just are in sync. Things are being shared. People are on a whole different vibrations. Another thing is helping you grow. I said that earlier, but I wanted to give example to that helping you grow. Another example that I shared with Brandon was that there is this individual who, when you see him, he's a macho guy, right? You just you just get 
you know, okay, he's a macho guy. He, you know, blah, blah, blah. As all of us were talking, one of the things, someone said something and the guys just started to cry. And it was just kind of like, whoa, we didn't see that. None of us seen that coming. And he said something like, you know, guys, this is, he was like, you know, it was um, confirmation for me to be here. There's something I needed to hear when whoever at the time was saying whatever. And he was saying, you know, one of the issues is that a lot of people see me and they think I'm a, I'm a macho guy or this big guy who can't, who don't like, who shouldn't express their feelings. And all of us, you can see it on our faces. We were like guilty of like the thought, like, yeah, I thought you were a macho guy too. So to see you cry was just like, whoa. And he was just like, see, that's what I mean. A lot of people assume when they see me, I'm this person, but I am not. And he is like, you know, people got to know you more. He was just like, things would change. And that was just a whole nother conversation that led to appearances and things like that. So it's just like when you're met with people who are great and mind you, there's all these, these people that I, I'm mentioning in these conversations and examples. These are people who are very successful in their different areas of life. Uh, I think one was a CEO, another person was a chiropractor, another person was like an engineer. So these were like some big dog people. Like they they have like records and stuff. They were asking me questions that I'm not used to. And I was like, oh, wow, this is professional. Okay. <laughs> and, and it was pretty interesting. So in a nutshell, when you're met with greatness, it will either reveal negative effects that you will be exposed to and you may portray on other people or it will reveal positive growth and expansion. So a recent one is just talking, like I said, talking with my friend Brandon after this whole conversation, it ignited me to do more. Right. So the second part to this is what to do when you encounter someone like this, someone who is full of greatness, they're radiating it. First thing is engage and connect. Ask questions. You're in the same room, this person, or you are whatever you're at, take the opportunity, just ask questions and be yourself. A lot of us struggle with the being ourselves part. We just feel like, oh, I need to be this, I need to be that. But no, just be yourself, ask questions, especially those questions that just immediately just rise out of you like I don't know where that came from but I'm just gonna ask the question and really just engage connect with the person just go with the flow right lastly like after that whole process wherever you're at lastly exchange contacts to stay in touch Facebook Instagram I think LinkedIn I don't use that but LinkedIn heck their number emails anything you want to do to stay in contact with that person because you never know you may have a question that came up later on down the line and you can ask that person or that person may be able to help you with something. Who knows? Later on down the line, stay in contact. You guys may come together at some point and it'll just be really good to connect. A third thing is apply immediately what you gained from your conversations. I will tell you that in the beginning, it took me... It really took me, I want to say, I'm going to, I, I'm not, I don't, I'm not going to under, underball it. I'm not, gonna, I'm going to say it took me about six months to a year because I don't have a specific. It took me about six months to a year to actually get into the habit of applying immediately. I used to procrastinate. I used to take my time. I'd write it down and say, oh, I'll do this later or whatnot. But it took me time to change some mindsets, delete some old programmings and really tell myself, like, if I apply it immediately, I do not create room for other distractions to come in. And I feel bad about myself, you know, and I'm lying to myself. I don't like to lie to myself. And another thing is that the like, if I apply it immediately, it'll become automatic like I, it's just learned. It's just it'll become a part of me. So that's why I have to do things immediately. So I'm telling you guys, when you are met with someone who is just radiating greatness and they're sharing amazing information that just it's just in sync with you, it resonates with you at your core, apply it immediately. Like right after, 
You finish talking with a person, find some way, some little thing to apply whatever it is. So here's an example. A person may tell you, you may struggle with expressing yourself, right? And the person may tell you some of this amazing story like, hey, I had a hard time. Oh, God, this is actually a real example. I remember someone telling me this. I had a very hard time expressing myself um, with those close to me. But I will tell you, don't do what I did. Don't wait till later because what happened is I ended up losing my family because I thought that if I just kept stuff in and I didn't share, I was being the strong one and I didn't want to burden them. But in fact, my family was trying to help me and be there for me, but I wouldn't let them. And the result was that was that I ended up losing my wife and I ended up losing my two kids. I wish I could go back and share with them, you know, some of the things that I went through and everything would change. But I have to, you know, lay in the bed that I made. Right. And I was just kind of like, whoa. And he was saying that, like, it's not too late for you all, especially if you're a male, express it, let them know Let you know, if this person is really want to know what's going on, like you're not burdening them. If they really love you and there's something that's really killing you inside, they would want to know. And if you didn't tell them, they'll be very pissed that you didn't tell them. So express yourself. And if you're the type of person who struggles with that, and you hear that story, don't just be like, oh, wow, that's crazy. And then think about maybe I should do it more. And then you go on Instagram and you seeing some person throwing her cat out the window and then you laugh and you get all distracted. And then next thing you know, you're in the same position as dudes who just told you not to do. Immediately after you leave the person, randomly, I don't know, pick up, pick the closest person you know. Send it to him in a text message. Hey, I was just thinking about you. I just want you to know this is how I feel about you. Something, do something. It'll, it'll, you will feel so much better, right? Apply immediately. And really the fourth thing is, and the last thing with this is keep doing you. <laughs> and it should sound very familiar to someone who's been telling me this for like weeks now, but keep doing you and keep being great. And what you'll do is you'll attract more people full of greatness so really, greatness is all around you. It's not someone who's just on TV. It could be your neighbor. It could be one of your friends or associates that you really haven't talked with that much. Or what I've come to find, it could be some of the friends you or associates or schoolmates that you went to school with that you weren't really that close with in school. But later on down the line, you guys end up getting closer somehow, some way. It could be one of those people and they can share some things and they can be full of greatness like they're hustling they're grinding they're trying to build something like you would have never known that this person is like has their own business and doing this that and the other and even if they don't have their own business there's something that they're doing and it's just helping a lot of other people and you would just like not know but basically greatness is all around you so light yourself on fire first right and others will come to you i know that sounds so cliche but it really is basically that just means do you be you grow hustle Grind, follow your purpose, listen to your intuition, listen to your first mind. You know that when that's something when we always say, man, something told me I should have did this. Listen to that something. Stop telling yourself you should do it. Just do it, right? I'm telling you, you do that and greatness will just start coming to you guys. It is amazing. The only thing, and I have to just say this because I, I like to be real with y'all. The only thing I dislike about greatness... It, and this is at the moment. This can change later. But at the moment, what I don't like about it is those moments when it's like two or more of people who are full of greatness and they're in a room and you're having those amazing conversations, those conversations where you guys were only meeting for like two hours and two hours goes into like seven hours. And then next thing you know, by the time you finish talking, it's like three or four in the morning and majority of everybody else have to wake up in the next three hours to be to work. Those times, like those good moments where everybody's together. I can't stand when they end. And it's just something that can't happen like, you know, every week or every, you know, it's not something that's scheduled like, ah. Uh, it's just so annoying. And it's just those moments that you really can't just can't plan. They just happen. But I guess you do grow you grow appreciation for it. It sucks. But anyways, I just had to say that that's one thing that I can't stand. I can like literally count like on my my two hands <laughs> those moments that have happened. So that is that for the greatness. And now we're going to switch it up 
to the health is wealth segment of the podcast. So as you all know, I have been doing this because I want you guys to come to the podcast and be a bit healthier to know more, to incorporate more things into your diet. Because I don't want to be one of those people who keep saying, you know, if you eat healthy, you'll feel better. Or, you know, I think I said it earlier, when you eat right, you know, it changes things. So I'm, I want to actually give you some things that will help your body, you know, so you'll feel better. And then when you go into the store, you may see, hey, Thad was saying this, maybe I should try this. And I would like to do that. Give you guys something different. I had to go there. I had to learn it because, oof, boy, these were some foods I, I did not know about. And I had to learn. So anyways, health is wealth. So the particular choice of this t- segment is going to be Kamut. K-A-M-U-T. Kamut. Right? So what is it? It's an ancient wheat grain known for its rich and nutty flavor. Other names for kamut are Khorasan wheat or Oriental wheat. So I'm just going to continue. I, I gave you, I, I, I gave you more. The benefits. So a few of the benefits. And again, that's what I was going to say. Again, guys, I'm sharing this with you just to you know broaden your awareness. But this is also for you to do your research and check it out yourself. So, you know, you're just not hearing it from me. You do your own research and, you know, you can see if that's in harmony with you. So some of the benefits are it maintains tissue strength, lowers cholesterol, protects against free radicals, supports hormone balance, boosts immune system and aids bone health. So how to use it? I must say I wanted to do a little bit of a Google search this time and really see the other uses because I didn't want to just give you guys one. I like to give you guys options. And in so doing that, I have discovered that there were other uses that I didn't know. So I learned this as well. So how to use it? Well, apparently in pancakes. Pancakes made with this flour are rich and flavorful and more nutritious than regular pancakes. I love the sound of that. I did not even think that like you could, you know, there's a, well, and you can make a flour out of anything nowadays, but I did not know that. And this was just changing the game for me because I normally use spelt, which I covered uh, in the podcast before. And yeah, that's really good. So it's a flour. You can actually get the flour from this and pretty much make pancakes. This is something that's very interesting. Also, too, I should note, um, with, minus the flour part, it's good to soak them overnight. Like if you're going to use it, obviously, for not floury, flour purposes. So, you know, breads and stuff like that. But apparently, you know, after you soak it overnight, blah, 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 it gets nice and soft, this, that, and the other. It's good in salads. It's good for porridge. That's normally how I use it when I first got into Kamut. I seen how some people made it. Again, it's like another substitute. In my way, I have to say it's another substitute you can use for kind of like a rice. You, you soak it overnight and to each its own. But I don't have time to soak it overnight. That's just me. But, well, I could if I really wanted to. But I'm, you know, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I, get it, I put it in my food processor and I uh, process it. And once it's really nice and small and grainy, I put it in water and boil it and I turn it into a porridge. And for me, I put uh, I put a lot. I actually put, if I want it sweet, I'll add raisins, hemp milk, and um, agave. So it's kind of like an oatmeal substitute for me since we're not going to go there. I just don't, I just can't have oatmeal anymore. So that's a good substitute. Now, I used to love grits growing up, you know, some fish and grits or some bacon pancakes and grits with some butter. Can't do that no more because corn isn't real. I'm going to leave that alone. So that's another way you can use it in grits. So instead of the porridge, like I said, like just instead of making it sweet, you can make it uh, like grits. How I make it taste like grits from when my parents and grandparents used to do it. Again, I process it, put it in some water, boil it up a little bit, 
And then I like to add um, some olive oil, onion powder, sea salt, and oregano and mix it up a little bit. And then boom, it tastes like grits to me. But that's just me. I have acquired taste after changing up a lot of stuff, but it's really good. I personally use it um, instead of fish and grits. I'll have veggies and grits or just something that I can put on top of it. It's really, really good. Apparently, you can use it in bread, pasta, and soups and stews. And I learned like all of this recently. I did not know. So I'm definitely down for making some Kamut pancakes. But it's really, really good, guys. Definitely do your research. It's so much um, benefits for you. Also, it's alkaline for any of you guys who care. Um, the last, I think since I started this, all of the things that I mentioned for the health as well, all of them have been alkaline. I personally don't think I'm going to share anything that's acidic with you all because I wouldn't want to educate you guys and share some stuff with you that I know I don't use and is bad. So that's just me. Um, I'm no health expert, but I do know what's good for my body and what's not. So, but this is really good and people have been using it and I wanted to share that with you guys. So again, it is Kamut. Also where you can get it is I get mine from Whole Foods. Again, Trader Joe's does not have it, at least not the one near me, any health food store near you. I know I was talking with a good friend of mine. She cooks amazing food. She orders hers from Amazon. Again, so that's always good. I'm sure you can just Google this, guys, and you can order it yourself. But again, if you're a store person like me, you just want to go buy and you don't have time to wait and shipping and all that blah, blah, blah stuff. Get it at Whole Foods, and um, I will tell you, majority of the time, if you ask one of the people, hey, do you have any kind of mood? They're going to look at you like you have four heads. I'm just trying to save you that experience. Just take yourself over to the grain section, and it's going to be in some small packages. I really wish I could think of the brand for you. Um, I cannot think of the name right now, but just go into grain sections and look it up, K-A-M. U T Kamut. And there you go. You have it. So with that being said, guys, that is it for this podcast. I greatly appreciate you all. You all are amazing. Again, check out the membership service on the website. If you have any questions, please hit me up. I'm super excited about this. And it's something I've been working on for weeks now to make it like clean for you all. So yeah, guys, check that out. And um, you all are amazing. Share this podcast with a friend near you, you know, especially if they're like one of those health people who want to try different things, you know, do that. And if you know somebody who need, you know, a little dose of positivity when they meet greatness, you know, I'm not saying throw shade or anything, but you might say, hey, you might want to listen to this podcast. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so with that being said, guys, I will talk to you all um, Tuesday. And some of you all are probably going to be seeing me doing some more live videos. So there's that. So that being said, you all have a fantastic rest of your day and a fantastic evening. And I will be talking to you all very soon. Thank you for listening to today's episode. Please leave a five-star rating and share with a friend near you. Remember, the world's a better place because you exist. Know your worth and know thyself.